How's it going, everybody? Blake here, and this is Rambling Movie Takes, coming at you with a review for Dune. Not the 1984 piece of garbage, but the 2021 masterpiece of a movie, Dune. Let's get to it. But before we do, please do like, share, and subscribe. And let me know down in the comments at the end of this video if you like this movie, you know, or if you didn't. I want to know your thoughts. Let's get to it. Mythic and emotionally charged hero's journey, Dune tells the story of Paul Atreides, a brilliant and gifted young man born into a great destiny beyond his understanding, must travel to the most dangerous planet in the universe to ensure the future of his family and his people. As malevolent forces explode into conflict over the planet's exclusive supply, of the most precious resource, spice, in existence, a commodity capable of unlocking humanity's greatest potential. Only those who can conquer their fear will survive. All right, guys. So this movie, I knew going in that I was probably going to be stunned by the visuals in this movie. Like, visually speaking, this movie is flawless. It is absolutely flawless. Denis Villeneuve, the director for this movie, you know, some of you, if you've seen Blade Runner 2049, Arrival, Prisoners, Sicario, you know, he, he's he's the mastermind behind those movies. And, and this one, dude, it's just, I believe this is his masterpiece. Like, I don't want to say this is his masterpiece. It's not his masterpiece because I'm, I'm going to say that it's yet another masterpiece that this man has made. And, and I just, I can't applaud him enough for the work he did on this movie. So I think everyone, you know, I already said the visuals, like visually speaking, this movie is absolutely stunning. It is, it's flawless. I couldn't, I couldn't find anything that looked bad. Maybe some of you that watched it, maybe you saw something that that didn't look on point. Uh, let me know. No, <clears throat> sorry, let me know down in the comments if if there was something that that annoyed you with the with the visual effects. From where I'm standing or where I'm sitting, this movie was perfect visually perfect so this movie is also very well casted everyone did a phenomenal job acting in this movie everyone portrayed their characters very well and especially timothy chalamet like he was he was great as uh paul atreides like he he, he killed this this role absolutely killed it and Oscar Isaac was great. Rebecca Ferguson, great. I mean, Jason Momoa was, man. Jason Momoa was probably my favorite character in this damn movie. He wasn't the best actor in the movie, but he was my favorite character in the movie. My favorite, uh, uh, Duncan Idaho. I'm not a big uh, Dune fan. I'm not a Dune head by any means. I don't like the 1984 movie. I've never read the books. Um, but Duncan Idaho, Jason Momoa plays him, and he kicks some serious ass in this movie, which you would expect Jason Momoa to do, all right? And I'll tell you guys, it's a little weird seeing Jason Momoa without a beard. It kind of freaked me out a little bit, you know, but but not really. But anyways, guys, and then, you know, also Zendaya. Zendaya did a really good job as well. You know, Dave Bautista, I feel, is a bit overrated in this movie, People saying how great he is. He don't do much. Like, for all of you saying how great Dave Bautista is, I think you just like the guy because he didn't do much. Like, he's physically opposing. And he he acted fine. But he wasn't, like, god tier by any means. Like, I'm just saying. You know, stop hyping this man up so much. He's not that damn good. I'm just saying. <laughs> all right but he was fine he was fine and, and uh alexander 
I, I forget which scars guard it is, but he was he was awesome too. He was he was great as the emperor. Uh, fuck, I forgot his name, but but anyways, so and, and then you have Hans Zimmer's score playing over this movie. I, I've seen where some people said that this wasn't Hans Zimmer's best work, and I, I will agree with that. It certainly was not his best work. It could have been better. Uh, but I thought the soundtrack for this movie was, or the score was was decent. I thought, I thought it was good. I thought it was a good score. You know, Hans Zimmer cannot do a bad score. He can't. Not to me, anyway. Um, and then... The action, the action that's in this movie is 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 good. There's some good action. Now you need to know before going into this movie that there is not a lot of action. Like the trailers, like are basically telling you this is an action spectacle. Like this is this huge action movie, uh, huge epic action movie, and it's not not really. Uh, I think it has more in common with like Blade Runner 2049 than it does, you know, like a, a insert any big blockbuster action movie, you know, S Star Wars, whatever. So, and, and a fun fact for those of you that don't know, Dune actually was, I mean, Star Wars was actually inspired by Dune. So I didn't know that until, you know, I did like some some research going in because again I'm not a, a big fan of I, I'm not a fan at all of the '84 movie. I honestly sorry for those of you that love it and, and look I respect your opinion, but I think that movie's a piece of shit. I'm sorry, but I do, and I've never read the book, so I, I'm not a Dune fanatic, but I am a fanatic when it comes to this movie. This movie was freaking phenomenal, but. I can't I can't say that enough. This movie was freaking phenomenal. So this movie is very exposition heavy. Like I said, there's not a whole lot of action. It's very exposition heavy and and uh what it does is it like it sucks you into this world, the world of Dune. Like that's what you're that's what you're watching this movie for is to be transported into this this new world you know that takes place years into the future like that that's that's what this movie is it's it's not an action movie it's not a sci-fi action movie it, it's more of a sci-fi you know drama if you will if that makes any sense, you know, kind of like Blade Runner 2049, you know, it's more of a sci-fi drama, you know, it, it, it reminds me a lot of, uh, and I've seen this comparison, so I'm not coming up with it off the top of my, you know, whatever, but off the top of my head, it, it's got a little bit in common with Game of Thrones in a way, when you start thinking about all the different houses and all that, like, yeah, so, so like, I, I, I struggle to really think of anything that is wrong with this movie. Um, I can't, I honestly can't think of anything negative. The only, it's not really a negative, but if there's something that I wasn't too crazy about, I guess, so maybe you can consider it a mixed element. If there's one thing that I can pinpoint is the fact that it is a slow burn. And I don't typically like slow burns. I have to really be invested uh, in a movie to really appreciate a slow burn. And and I, I appreciate this movie. And I appreciate the story that it was telling. So I was invested. I did start getting a little bored uh, in, in, you know, towards the end. Uh... This is a two and a half hour long movie, so like I was I was starting to get a little drained, you know, during the during the last uh, thirty minutes or so. You know, I started to feel a little drained, and uh, 
because not a whole lot is happening. You know, it's not, like I said, there's not a lot of action. So it's very exposition heavy. It's introducing you to this world. And because this movie is very clearly, and, and it is, it's part one of, of two, of two parts. This, this is a two part movie and it ends on a cliffhanger. So I assume that the next movie, that part two, if it comes out and I believe it will, uh, God, I hope it does. I believe that one will will probably have more action in it. But then again, probably not. And that's okay. You know, this movie doesn't have to be this big action movie. Like, it doesn't have to be. But I think that's what a lot of people are expecting going into it. So, if you haven't seen it yet and you're watching this, again, don't expect this to be a sci-fi, science fiction action movie. Like, it, it's not. It's a spectacle, and it's epic as all hell, but it's epic in the sense of scope and direction and visuals, you know, the, the, the masterful visuals. So, so yeah, guys. I mean, I recommend this movie. I do. I, you have to go see it. See it in the theater. Don't be like me and and watch it on a normal TV. Uh, look, I wanted to go to the movie theater to see it. Um, and I think I still will. I, I, I think, look, it's been a very busy week. So I just, I haven't had the time to get to the theater. I live like 30 minutes from the nearest movie theater. And I, I'm not making an excuse. I'm just, it's been a long week. I'm tired. And it was right there. I was like, screw it, I'm going to watch it. So, But I am going to go see it in the theater. Uh, next week, I am definitely planning on going to see it in the theater because I want to experience this movie. That's the best way I can put it. I don't want to just watch it. I want to experience it. And I'm recommending to you, as someone who just watched it on a 50-inch TV, to go to the theater and experience this movie because you're just watching it when you're when you're watching a movie from home you're just watching it you're not experiencing it so go to the theater get you some popcorn get you a coke or whatever and experience this movie because i guarantee you in the theater it's probably so much better so much more spectacular um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I got. Uh, as for a rating, I, I'm going to give it a nine out of 10. I really enjoyed this movie a lot. I had a great time with it. Again, I got a little bored towards the end, uh, because of how exposition heavy it is. And it just does have so much going on. Like it's so much to... To latch on to, you know, it, it's a lot to to absorb. But what? But I'm telling you, like it's it's worth it. It's absolutely worth it. I, I don't think this is going to be a movie for most people. Um, you have to be willing to sit through this movie for two and a half hours, not look at your phone, and just basically be glued to the screen to enjoy this movie uh, or to be able to follow it because every because here here's the thing every scene matters every piece of dialogue matters nothing about this movie is filler everything matters so if you take your eyes off the screen at any point and if you take your attention off this off of the movie at any point you're gonna miss something so keep that in mind. So yeah, I, I give the movie a 9 out of 10. Check it out if you think it's something that, that you'll be interested in. And uh, yeah, please do like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I'm Blake, and this has been Rambling Movie Takes. Y'all have a good one.